She's got the skills, but does she have the money to pay for that 50 grand vase that she has just broke? What is up? It's the Natural here, and welcome back to another video on the channel. And we're back with another episode of the Football Impact. Me looking across the land for everything crazy, mental, insane that's happened this week in the world of football. So, what's happened this week? Man City played Liverpool. Last weekend, and obviously it was a huge, enormous game in the tether race. If Man City won, the gap would be down to three points. If Liverpool won, the gap is nine points, and pretty much, you'd probably say the tether race is dead. Liverpool beaten Man City 3-1. The fact they now have a nine-point lead over their main challengers for the title this year in the Champions Man City. And that wasn't the big talking point of the whole weekend. But no, it was actually Ryan Sterling and Joe Gomez. Both of them had an altercation in this game. Joe Gomez obviously said something to Ryan Sterling. Ryan Sterling obviously took it as offence. And obviously, both of them were in the England squad for upcoming qualifiers. And uh, both of them had to be separated by the England teammates because uh, Raheem Sterling actually tried to knock Joe Gomez out. But Joe Gomez now has a cut. Now, I'm not saying that cut was maybe because of Raheem Sterling. It could be for anything. It could be, I don't know, maybe um, Deli Ali said something bad and he hit the golf stake and PC at him for playing Fortnite. From where? In front of you. Light my balls, bitch! Then this little fossil and absolute media storm between Joe Gomez and Raheem Sterling, both of them have made peace, move on, and the media, well, they got their five minutes of fame, and that's pretty much it. But uh, bar that, Liverpool, uh, looks like you guys, if you don't win the league this year, I'm just saying this right now, you guys will never win it. A nine point lead, and we're not even to Christmas yet, I mean, it's just, if Liverpool don't win the Premier League this season, they're never. They're never going to win it. And today, we're going to look into the future of football. The year 2042. Where a guy that was big yellow team is taking on Jamie Gallagher's blue team. And we'll find out who will come out in this epic clash. Oh, is guy going to get Is he your own Jamie down? He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. Oh, let's go. That's it, it's over. Gary's yellow team gets the W. Bayern Munich humiliated Borussia Dortmund 4 0, even though Bayern Munich sacked their manager, Nico Kovac, a couple of weeks ago. And well, two wins from two for the interim manager at the minute after beating Olympiarcos, was a 2 0 in the Champions League, and they humiliate their main rivals for the title this season to take down Bayern Munich for winning 50 godforsaken titles in a row. Um, Borussia Dortmund, who, by the way, Borussia Dortmund have never won at the Allianz Arena since Jurgen Klopp was manager when they last won the Bundesliga title back in 2011. I don't really know what's happened to Dortmund this season. Like, they were my team at the start of the season. They brought us some really good players, Hazard and Brandt. And not, they didn't sign Eden Hazard, they signed his younger brother, Torgan Hazard. And they signed some other really good players as well. But I come back to it, they haven't signed a striker. That's the problem with this Dortmund team. Is they didn't sign a number nine, they can put the ball in there on a consistent basis. Bayern Munich have that, and are arguably have one of the lethal strikers in, war, in, in the godforsaken of Europe right now. In Robert Lewandowski, who's not just the all-time leading goal scorer in the Bundesliga, he's only scored more goals for, against Borussia Dortmund than any other player. And yet, that man used to play for Borussia Dortmund and gone to a Champions League final and won them two Bundesliga titles. Crazy to think that, really. But um, look, Borussia Dortmund are a really good team. They've had 
an okay start to the season. Pressure will be under Julian Fafa, even though it'd be intriguing to see where this goes. But for me, Dortmund, they haven't brought in a number nine, a striker on a consistent basis and put the ball in the back of the net. And I think that's their problem this season. They've got some really quality players going forward in terms of James Sancho. They've obviously got Royce. You've got many other players like Brandt and Hazard and Vets. So they've really good bit players they don't have on a on, when you're when you're struggling for goals, you need a striker that can take that can get you out of a tough situation. And I don't think they and I don't think they have that. Bayern do, and that's the difference. So big win for Bayern Munich. Obviously Arsene Wenger was linked with the job for Bayern Munich. He's not taking the Bayern Munich job. He's now went to some job in FIFA or something. So um, it'd be intriguing to see who actually does take this Bayern Munich job right now. Um, the only one option I can think of is Jose Mourinho. What an absolute show off. Just a pure gold show off. Alien Brandt Harding, the 19 year old sensation, has single handedly just come in like a tidal wave. He has scored 27 goals in 18 games. That's right, he has scored more goals than any other player this season. He's the top goal scorer in the Champions League with 7 goals ahead of so many other top lethal strikers, including Serge Gnabry, who scored four in one bloody game. He has scored five hat-tricks this season, one of them in the Champions League. And to put it, put it into more context, he has scored more goals than all of the bottom half teams in the Premier League combined. Wow. I mean... 19 year old sensation that's taken the world by storm. That's what this guy is doing right now. And man, his agent must have so many godforsaken big clubs, huge clubs, mega rich clubs coming out right now. You've got PSG, Man United, you've obviously got Real Madrid, Barcelona, Bayern Munich, Man City, Liverpool. All the big clubs in Europe will now be wanting this man's signature come January or next summer. And for me, he is one for the future. Sensational 19 year old kid scoring that amount of goals is quite astonishing. So, definitely watch your eye on this kid because he could be the next superstar in the making. Hey man, why did you kick the ball at me? Because you slept with my sister. Uh, okay, I didn't. Where'd you find that rumor from? Uh, the guy over there. I said. That he's sleeping with someone's sister. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you better be. You just kicked the ball at me for no apparent reason, you stupid son of a bitch. And now, we move on to the WTF. In the red corner, we have this random football player. In the blue corner, we have the manager. Let the fight commence. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why we say this is the dark arts of football. So that was the end of another video on the channel and the end of another Football Impact video. If you really enjoyed this, don't forget to head butt that godforsaken like button, subscribe with the notification bell turned on as well, and also follow me on my social media platforms. The link will always be in the description. So definitely go check it out. Anyway, hope you all have an amazing day. Enjoy yourselves. Please like, subscribe, the natural, the punk of YouTube, is out.